hello students in this in this question in this video i'll be discussing another problem of the gauss divergence theorem and how to apply the gauss divergence theorem to this particular problem now to begin with identify the surface So we have the surfaces here. Now to apply the Gauss divergence theorem, we require the closed surface. So if I consider the section of the sphere in the first quadrant as a surface S, I can convert this to a volume V by considering three more surfaces. S, S1, S2, and S3. So we have the x, y plane here and y, z, and x, z plane. So if I consider this to be the surface S1, this to be the surface S2, and the plane surface. going inwards to be the surface S3. Then we have S1, S2, S3 and S4 bounding the volume V. So now we have a closed surface S. So let us call S4 to be S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S. So by Gauss divergence theorem, We have integral S4 F dot ds equal to the volume integral of divergence F dv. Now vector F being yzi plus xzj plus xyk. We have divergence of the vector to be zero. Therefore, the surface integral of f is equal to 0. Surface integral of f where the surface S4 will be 0. That is, integral surface integral over S1 plus surface integral over S2 plus surface integral over S3 surface integral over S3 plus surface integral over S ds equal to 0. So we have surface integral over S ds which is the required solution equal to surface integral over s1 surface integral over s2 plus surface integral over s3 
now surface integral along s1 now s1 is the surface xy plane bounded by the lines x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and the circle x squared plus y squared equal to r squared now the outward unit normal this should be minus k cap now plus k cap would be to in inside the circle we require outward unit normal to the surface therefore we need to take n cap to be minus k cap now s1 is bounded by x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and x squared plus y squared equal to a squared so ds will be dx dy by mod n dot k cap which will be equal to dx dy so integral s f dot ds this will be integral over s1 f dot ds will be double integral over r f dot n cap dx dy that is double integral over r vector f is yz i plus xzj plus xyk so we have minus xy dx dy now if we now the region that we have is a circle sector of a circle so this is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared so this is the region r so if we convert this to the polar coordinates the limits will become constant limits where r varies from 0 to a now we have only one quarter of a circle therefore theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and dx dy changes to r dr d theta so integral s1 f dot ds will be integral 0 to a integral 0 to pi by 2 minus r squared cos theta sin theta into r dr d theta therefore minus integral 0 to a r cube sin squared theta by 2 theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 dr this will be minus 1 by 2 integral 0 to a r cube dr that is minus 1 by 2 r power 4 
by 4 0 to a so we have minus a power 4 by 8 now similar process has to be adopted for the surface s2 s and s3 as well Now S2 is the plane y equal to 0 and the outward unit normal for this would be minus j cap. j cap would be inside the sphere. So minus j cap would be the outward unit normal for S2 and S2 is bounded by x equal to 0, z equal to 0 and when we put y equal to 0 in the equation of the sphere that gives us the equation for this circle x squared plus z squared equal to a squared. So integral s2 f dot ds will be double integral over r minus xz dx dz. Now the region r is no different from the previous region. The integrand is similar, the region is similar, the difference is y is replaced by z. Therefore, the value of this integral will also be same because there is just a change in variable in the region as well as the integrand. So this integral should be minus a power 4 by 8. Now along S3, we have x equal to 0, the outward unit normal is minus i cap and the surface is bounded by y equal to 0, z equal to 0 and a circle sector of the circle y squared plus z squared equal to a squared. So integral s3 f dot ds equal to double integral over r minus yz dy dz. Again the integrand is similar except for change of variables. The region is also similar just the change of variables in defining the region. So the value of the integrand should be the same. That is minus a power 4 by 8. So when we combine these three integrals and substitute in this equation here, So we have minus minus a power 4 by 8 plus minus a power 4 by 8 plus minus a power 4 by 8. This simplifies to 3a power 4 by 8.